No? Helium. Okay. We're gonna do this because I don't know why, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Water is used in a single flush of a passenger toilet. None. Sorry, incorrect. Game over. Don't give up. Try again. You can't see the game footy? What are you talking about? Oh, for fuck's sake, what? I can't see my screen. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Start it from, I'll start the vote from here. I'm Jay, this is Gaming Cult, we're playing D4. You might have missed a little bit because I was playing it without the visuals on. But I'm doing a quiz at the moment. Thank you for the quiz on 301. Thirty minutes is not too bad. Correct, of course. The waste is stored in a tank rather than being ejected outside. What provides propulsion when a jet aircraft is on the runway? <laughs> um. No, I don't Sorry. fucking know. Correct. Game over. Don't give up. I'll try again. <laughs> Gonna get it. Cargo plane. Incorrect. Game over. Don't give up. Try again. 
All right, I'll give it out of the go. I was opening it on my phone. Starting by the way, it wasn't. It wasn't opening. No! Okay, it is space. It's actually. <laughs> it actually is the correct answer is space plane. I thought that was just. Space plane. Correct. We've already moved beyond it's the technical the term. And into space. All questions correct. Congratulations. You have correctly answered all the questions. Space closed. Space closed. Now your head isn't totally empty anymore. Success in the field during a dangerous Undercover operation hinges entirely on your continued daily regimen of training. Remember, you are undercover until you get home. I hope we'll meet again for a different genre in the future. Wow, I ended up completing them all. This PDA though, don't tell me he forgot it on purpose. Well, I guess I'll find out up ahead. That was fun, in more ways than one. Was it? Was it fun? I guess it was fun. Keep up. 
Looks like this is a good time to bail out. not loading on or off Wi-Fi. I don't know what to tell you. It not work. Save. No, it's not my internet. It's just that link. It's not working for me. The image imager site loads up instantly. Just it keeps it keeps not loading the image. So yeah. I'm That's a lot of notes. Okay. Let me just make it a bump. What's wrong? We have to open that door in order to proceed to the next section. It should open as long as electricity is being supplied to it. What if you had the power to go back in time? I wouldn't want it. The present and the future are all I care about. <laughs> and what if I Nice! Had huh? You? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I couldn't show if I opened it on stream, it would be breaking terms of services. Electricity is going to it now. You did it. Yeah, you did. The link doesn't work, so it's not great in terms of service.
Cool. Did it. I just, I just did it. I just did it. I did I had to go from one end to the other. Looks like the power has been restored to this section. Right, and it goes down there and across there. <clears throat> right? Or do I just... Ah! Got it. Got it. Thank you, Lewis. That should restore power in this section. about the identity of that thing back there. But in that case, what's the Marshal playing at? Just over two years ago, there was a detective... It's a sweary 65k. ...real blood murder. Sounds like he was forced out under By the guy that went deadly from this. ...killing his wife. The report also says he was critically injured, including some memory loss. What do you think this former detective is doing now? What's your point? Please. Answer me. I didn't kill her. I knew it was you. You're the detective from that case. And that's why you've muscled in on this one. What are you after? Don't tell me. Revenge? Listen. Back off. I can't let you become any more involved in this. Olivia, wait. Hands up. Don't move. Place your hands behind your head and lie down on the ground. Lie down on the ground, now!
Eagle calling Delta. Agent Cheney, please respond. Philip! This fucking song again. <laughs> Fuck. Get in there, son. Oh, shit. Hurry, hurry. Run, 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 run. Uh. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty shit, Synchro, right? Marshall, please, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> we have to. What am I doing? I need to hurry up and find the marshal. Let's get going. Uh. Let me through here. in the past. Get 
scorched. You should take note of that. Clovis? Yes. Clovers are integral to your memories of her. How do you know that? Oh, God damn it. Okay, don't do that. I'm not sure. 
sure you'd call it a reward, but I've placed a memory left by her in your house that memory belongs to you, Mr. Young. <laughs> Thanks. One of the memories is in my house. Just who is this man? I don't want to play it again. Thanks. What the hell are you doing here? Is it? It obvious, Mr. Young. <laughs> I'm watching over you. Just who are you? I am myself. Nothing more than that. I thought at least that much was obvious. It's futile, Mr. Young. I highly doubt that she can see me. I can be seen. By Mr. Young, but not by Miss Jones. I think you understand what that means. The courier and the marshal come through here? The answer is yes, Mr. Young. But if you <laughs> are caught up only in what? And see in front of you, you'll fail to catch what is truly important. <laughs> Why don't you just cut the crap and tell me everything? Start from. If I did, would you believe me, Mr. Young? Those certainly don't sound 
like the words of a master detective. Four people came through here, but if you looked at it from another way, you would see three. Hmm. Mr. Young, what excellent deductive reasoning it seems. So does this just challenge my high schooler? Piper. Type me, mage. How you doing? Certainly, I'm looking for Dean. He's fatally wounded, Marshal. You were planning this from the beginning, weren't you? Now I have all of the puzzle pieces. Fucking with my big eye, weren't you? Trying to take it while I was sleeping. Send your ass or your head. The man is far more than just his looks. Tell them I've understood that. With that That's it. That's what happened. Spit it out. Uh, uh, Name of your boss. Now! Oh, that's some serious shit, man. <laughs> <coughs> the one behind real blood has a name starting with D. I thought maybe that was you. Now I understand everything. The reason you're so focused on real blood cases. And the reason your wife is so much younger than you in that picture. <laughs> and even the identity of my attacker. You aren't the D I'm chasing. You've been following real blood cases in order to avenge your family. Your family was killed by a real blood user. Perhaps. So you swore to wipe out everyone involved with real blood. 
Well, Marshal, have I got it right? What the hell do you know? More than you'd think. I lost my beloved wife, too. Marshal, listen. Just give up on the revenge. None of this will bring back your family. I, on the other hand, can change the past. Your family might not even have to die. So please, give me that evidence. Don't fuck with me. Don't you fuck with me! Change the past? Who's gonna believe that bullshit? Do you have any idea how much I've suffered over these last ten years? You're just so drunk! You have no right to say anything about my family! I'm not giving him up. Or the evidence. If you want it so bad, you'll have to take it by force. Marshal, enough! Huh? Oh, God! Damn! You think he's okay? Seven of Boston. In a different flight to Washington, D.C. The other D who was on board both of these flights. You're the one I should have been after. God. Code name Delta. Philip Cheney! <laughs> Jesus. He's high as fuck. That oh boy has his cat shit. God damn! That was sick. I have no idea how many episodes there are in this in this uh, chapter. This is chapter one. Remember. This is the second episode. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Deadly Premonition too, definitely. Big time.
Dr. Oldman. That thing we discussed. I've arranged it. Just like you wanted. Yeah, it's Kate Miller. Well, we saw him right at the beginning. Now, do you be able to meet my expectations? Oh, no, that's not Kate Miller. <laughs> yeah, that's Kate <good. laughs> Ugh. Good listeners, that mean we got it. We listened to everything in the whole game, that whole episode. I wonder if we should leave it all for today. Be a good idea. Leave it on that. Leave it on that cliff tongue. <laughs> How do I know? Wait, that was the whole thing. Was that the whole thing? Was it just two episodes in season one? Hang on. It was yeah. There was supposed to be multiple seasons, but Swery didn't end up doing it. Um, let me check game facts real quick. Xbox One version. There's no FAQs for D4 from Game Facts. There's no walkthroughs. Are there really no walkthroughs? Yeah, there's no guide for D4. That's funny. So, let's see if that's it. I have no idea if there's this is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. That was it. That was it. That was the whole thing.
can see why people have been wanting Swery to make more. <laughs> Definitely a lot of stuff hanging there. All there is to really do is go back to the first episode and do the little bits that we forgot. Which is two, handing in two things. That really is the whole game. I mean, it's a great game. Definitely. I guess we didn't get to see this. Um, I cut this out of the first one, so to see this, for people to see this answer. This book. So it was running so poorly when I first started the game up. I had to do a lot to get this game running. Exactly. This this is a great game. It's a fantastic game. It's a shame the PC port uh, does not work on Windows 10 <laughs> without a lot of uh, workarounds. You basically have to run it. Can 
think we're still carrying our money across. I didn't see you again this time either. Let's do let's do the two things that we've forgotten. Little Peggy. David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. Uh, at least we can My have this stuff all wrapped around again, looking killer. good. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. I think he's just been doing drugs and then I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain very special power. It's been broken since that day. Is full of memories of my wife and the bullet that robs me of them. What happened in this place on that day? A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. Results this time either. This case is in the clear. doing Did we get an upgraded TV? through too much of the first chapter to get those last two things done. 
Unless we've still got the stuff with us, so we can still for that. Let's <laughs> shut. Let's look at my board thing. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. We'd have to get all the stuff all over again. It's not going to have the same stuff in our inventory. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. Compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. When I do, oh, Peggy. Amanda? This is yeah, it's all shit I've got before. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Yo, David, everything ship shake? I was about to go to sleep. Sleep? You look ready for a coffin. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for Dee. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. 
do it. We should pick soup. Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get, trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. You know you love it. You got the stomach for it. My stomach is stressed out quite enough. Thanks. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Skip, skip. If you like, I don't need to watch this all over again. So yeah, that's this is the whole game. Play it for two episodes in the first chapter. It's great though. I literally can pack two things in. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mist. Just got a a um, achievement. Yeah, more presents to give. Soundtracks still hate so let's play. Yeah, no, they are. The sounds are How many things we got left? On the old uh, food list. Is that really all there's left to get? On oh, this episode, stuff. Okay. So, 
Zebra Jumper, Zebra Jumper, Zebra Jumper, Zebra Jumper, Zebra Jumper, Zebra Jumper, Let's have a look at the free list. Chocolate goes. That's in chapter two. Um, not really many things left. Dumb can see for roast chicken is done. It's just all the stuff in chapter two that we've got to buy. Yeah, the pastas. It's looking pretty up then, but then pretty close, I'd say. I wonder if we've had every meal with uh with the big man. Anything I can help you with? What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Okay, good. Let's eat that. I know you too well. You probably have only been we've done all of the meals in chapter two, uh, episode two, for a not reason, episode Teddy. one. <laughs> Shit, it's crazy. Amanda, the more the merrier. At hey, everybody, need a snack? Smack it about. Tell me, Teddy, what's up with you and Diana? Hmm. Nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you are originally from New York. I thought you'd be double yeah, teamed. Seems... I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way. Nah, she still got her head stuck right up in New York. Right. Yeah. So what was it this time? Baseball? Basketball? Not football. Nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, um, this one's bigger. Much bigger. It's all about clam chowder. Clam chowder. Clam chowder. Yeah, clam chowder. No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. 
You're, you're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Oh, but Diana just can't see it. I have no basis for comparison. What? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, David. Mm. Sorry. Uh, I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. <laughs> need you on this. It's got All a few crackers on there. What say was damn straight. Uh. All right, that was our first time eating pizza then. Gotcha. We need to look at those files in episode two as well. Anything I can help you with? David, are you pulling my leg? We just ate. Might as well finish this sh stuff. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do it all, the, all over again. See how quick we can burn through it. Let's see if we can wear something crazy as well. What's he doing there? <laughs> ah. A little bit of end, a little bit of end game content. Ah, you fucker. Oops. This is probably a lot more of a challenge with a connect.
wonder how long this goes for. <laughs> Gonna be able to read chat at all. I guess it just keeps going. I guess so, yeah, I don't, I don't know uh, how high it goes. I feel like we're probably close. Did we already get that? Yeah. Still got all my shit from last time. I feel like some of it. Take it easy, Tanky Mages. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, all right. Maybe that was the last scrapbook item we were missing. Number four. Oh, 
two, three, four, five. I'm missing letter number five. Six. Streamer collaboration. Hmm. I guess it's probably hockey. as quick as possible. Thanks for all the help. Huh. No problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. Hell, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> yeah. We're definitely wearing something avant-garde now. Yeah, good. That was a brilliant. Thanks for playing. I still want to sleep. Yes. Please skip. David. I guess <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings.
lavatory. On an airplane. Another successful dive. Watching memories called mementos. Allows me to dive into the past. from an airplane during a flight? That's impossible. There's got to be something I'm missing. So I'm pretty sure I'll have to do uh, 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 Are you okay? Uh, uh, David. Little Peggy? Sir, are you okay? My apologies, Olivia. You just look so much like an old girlfriend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Just for a second, I actually thought little Peggy had come back to life. Side. Quit your jabbering. <laughs> My turn, asshole. I want to talk to him. No way. Get lost. I need to do something about this tough guy first, then. I want to talk to him. Souvenirs from the trip. Mm. 
snow on the front, cherry blossoms on the back. They change them according to the season. It isn't totally atrocious, but hardly avant-garde now, is it? I'd expect no less flying coach, of course. Would it have killed them to use a little real stitching? Honestly. And who might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby, what do you think? Dress all the seats white, then crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change all these to black lights, but not too dramatic. Just play Does straight. your mannequin ever reply? She's not a mannequin. She's my partner. She is? Four thousand five hundred thirty nine? Four thousand five hundred forty? There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> if you're going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Trouble? Me? Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive, so I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref, if you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. used in DC. A DC Metro ticket. Very interesting panda design. It's already used. Yeah, 
Oops. The designs in business class are just... So, this is the era of avant-garde? Hmm, that's not quite right. It is avant-garde! <laughs> that difference is everything. You have to embrace it. Uh, okay. I have to say, and stop me if you've heard this before, your choice in fashion is terrible. An affront to art itself. I never thought I'd meet a man who can walk around happily dressed like that. <laughs> hey, it isn't that bad, right? Oh, please. It's bad, bad. Looks like you... No, go ahead. Uh, spending un... I don't have a leg, but I also can't just pass him over. Prove you can... Wear one single... Oh. I wonder if there's anything tucked away in... I kind of figured that's for me. Have you honed... What about... Uh, soup. Just look. You. It's not the. I what? Maybe I just don't have it yet. That's one fashionable band. Not bad for a gift from Washington, D.C. There's nothing here. What did you say? Former number two in the BPD drug control unit? Lost your wife in a real blood-related case two years ago. <sighs> Quit the force as a result. Currently specializes in messing up crime scenes with cheap parlor tricks. A charlatan who thinks he's still a real detective. That's about the short of it. I'm no charlatan. Prove it then. Okay. I'll guess the NHL scores from tonight's game, if you like. Interesting. Then how about this? Bring me a copy of today's Boston Herald. Today's edition should be going out on a newsstand right about now. Of course, we aren't even in Boston yet. Oh, and we're on a plane as well. Yeah, this is the one that I didn't have been. Now run along and leave me alone. A change of tactic, is it? Seemingly impossible, perhaps. But not for me, Marshal. After all, this whole place is just the past for me. The past to which I can come back whenever I want. I guess I gotta go back and get it again.
Now's our chance to see if we've got all the meals and everything. Let's be doing this all over again. I've done all that shit. Right? Yeah. So we need seven million yeah. Meat spaghetti <sighs> and the lobster grill, I think. Yeah, I think it's just those two. Lady Killer said, uh, it's got some serious stat boosts there. Plus 90. Jesus. This reminds me of the Wii Shop channel music. Taking care of yourself is part of your... Strange that you'd suggest that. <laughs> Must be a weird day. Enough beating around the bush. Come on, just say you want to eat. 
That's what I'm saying. Okay, go watch up. These are my favorite scenes in the game. <clears throat> We've done this one before. We found a floater in the Mystic River. Ah, the perfect conversation for the dinner table. I think we've done it. What, what the? What's up, David? Something you needed to ask? David, are you? We just ate. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Tequila is made from the agave plant. They take eight to ten years from planting to be ready to harvest. During that time, they have to be carefully pruned and tended to. Every time I drink this liquor, it feels like I'm pouring liquid time down my throat. A very strange sensation. So this here, I reckon that's lobster grill, lobster boil, lobster ring. <laughs> so we did the lobster grill. Pretty sure we've got them. so many lobsters. I'm looking just right at them. This one, I think we just need meat spaghetti. Yeah, just meat spaghetti. Think out of this. We have everything. Yes, we do.
Let's get hand in. What's up, David? Something you needed? David, we just... This was my craziest thing. Maybe I should have been wearing what I was wearing. What you wanted? Holy shit. What kind of trickery is this? A good magician never gives away his secrets. Why do you only go after real blood cases? None of your business. Then we may have a problem going forward. I have certain I'm personal to circumstances that mean I can't back down. Personal circumstances? <laughs> Look at you. I have a duty. A duty to lay out on a slab every single scumbag involved in real blood. Anyone gets in my way, no matter who they are, I ain't got no mercy. Now get lost before I slaughter you. Derek Buchanan, at this point in time, I've no proof that this man is D. But so long as that possibility remains, I'll need to keep an eye on him. Second place for the teacher. Sure. Uh, 
enter a play, save one lane for his case of that without playing a certain one. I don't think I have the Elven God shirt. What are you looking for? Oh, it's not. Hmm. If you can't tell me. What do you. The, the crewmen. Uh, yeah. Oh, this shit already. I'm. Whatever the reason, I might. Have you honed your fashion senses? So do I wear the avant-garde shirt? I don't get it. Remember the two sitting when you the two who were directly behind us. I'm terribly sorry, but most of the time I only ever see Suki. Wait, <laughs> but it won't you that. Are you sh Why do you- She is-
through. It's Duncan. Choose to ask Duncan and D. Second case can be done right after the go to the bathroom, grab the container by the toilet, give this container so I can have a gun. Ah! So we need to do yet another playthrough. Let's do it. What are you doing here? So how about you die, fucker? Oh. Damn it! Oh. Wait! Antonio Zapatero? There's no way to stand the truth of them! You wanna know about this? Oh. Go on a fucking investigation! Hand over your evidence! Whatever it is! I need it! Are you serious? This <laughs> is so silly! Then I'll just have to take it! By force! Hot memory! If you really do know! Who he is! You give up! You've had enough! 
Right? I'd say the same to you. <laughs> Courier, he vanished. About your daughter. Choices in fashion, so terrible. How can your mannequin is so When did you become a military man? Talk of a new age called D, though. 
I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark. You're like a r can't we? Say what? It's not. So apparently solving all his cases requires like three playthroughs of this chapter. supposed to be some kind of contain something. Another one in the clear. I thought I was being thorough. <laughs> You're like a... Can't we have... I've found your new age. Th that's... A pretty fancy container. And such a unique aroma. The same as the faint scent I detected coming from you. Very well. Yes, it is all as you say. That's my latest cosmetic product, D. A cosmetic? I thought as much. You apply the bright red powder here, on this part below your nose, vertically, along here like, like this. Below your nose? Yes. People's attention is focused on the center of your face. So, that's where I also focused my attention, on this bit below the nose that I, I don't even know the name of. Bright red lipstick is outdated now. The new age will be making this part below the nose bright red. Yes, it is truly avant-garde. By sheer coincidence, it matches perfectly with my next theme. One last thing. I need you to keep mum about D with the mass media. I want to make the announcement myself when the right time comes. Sure, no problem. It makes no difference to me. You're smarter than I thought. Suki has changed her opinion of you too. 
There's something I'd like to ask you, though. For my silence, where were you on January 26, 2011? The day I lost everything. January 2011? Hmm. I would have been in Paris from New Year onward. You can prove it? Easily. Just check the back issues of any fashion magazine. Suki and I are regulars at the Semaine de la Mode of Paris. The La Mode what? Heathen. The premier haute couture show. You've never heard of Paris Fashion Week? What century are you living in? Sorry. My bad. Sounds like the perfect alibi. It looks like Duncan is in the clear. Do I get the t-shirt? Yes! That is a thank you. Nothing more. Certainly not to buy your silence. Don't take it the wrong way now. So the name of the New Age is taken from the D of Duncan? No, not at all. This new cosmetic for application just below the nose has a special fragrance. I'll tell you, but please, discretion. It's a powerful pheromone used by a certain female insect. Such a powerful pheromone. The insect was worshipped in ancient Egypt and... Don't tell me. D is for dung beetle. The whole world will fall under the spell of the fragrance of D. <laughs> Damn. There we go. Mystery solved. Before we do our last mission with the guy at the end of the end, and then go do the missions we've done from the start of episode one. I need to check if we've got any more eating missions. David, taking care of yourself is part of your job. I can throw something together if you like. I'll give you my very best today. The full five-star restaurant. <laughs> I'll decide the number of stars. You should be the one when it's done. There was only one. Then get start, ready to call me the Iron Chef. David, there's something I've been meaning to ask. I guess we did. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just two. Anything I can help you with? No, I didn't want to change. 
I must take ages to get all the free questions and buy everything. Could do it, but it just would require playing through the game several times. <sighs> I'm quite sure we've done with jumping plates, right? We've had to kill them too, haven't we? How many am I? I'm only missing one. Four, twenty-three. I don't have that one. into the shirt. I get I get I get green hair as well. Oh man, that's great. Love it.
can't talk to him. Let's go. Loop all the way back around again. I'm pretty sure. Choices in fashion so terrible. How can what? <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna loop back around again. This is a problem. Where is it? Are you looking for something? Not at all, Mr. Young. I am completely at your disposal. Have you contacted the airport? Yes, 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 of course. Are you telling me the truth? It looks like you're so busy searching that you haven't done anything yet. I'll find what you're looking for. You just contact the ground. <clears throat> That's very kind of you. Very well. A glove? And it has to be this specific one? Yes. It's a special order. Perfectly fitted to my hand. I'm in serious trouble without it. Why is he getting so upset? He's more high strung. Last, but you can't click on the window after that, otherwise it ends the chapter. This is a problem. Where is it? I found the glove. It's all burnt up, though. Ah, thank you so much. That's okay, is it? No problem. I don't want to use it. You don't? So... What's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Mr. Young. This is my problem. Simply recovering the glove was the most important thing. Huh? What does he want with a glove that can't even be used anymore? Just being high-strung doesn't explain that. I need to probe a bit deeper here. Great frog said. Emergency doors work while in flight? It's possible to manually switch over to door mode. But just touching the controls to do so causes an alarm to sound in the cockpit. You would be better off not to get any silly ideas, sir. What if that alarm was broken? Deactivated. What are you planning? I'm just trying to figure out the method of escape used by Olivia and the Vanishing Man. Method of escape, is it? How many emergency exits are there? How much do you know about the Federal Aviation Regulations? Hmm... They are the safety regulations as set by the Federal Aviation Administration. In accordance with them, a commercial aircraft must have enough emergency exits that all passengers can exit the aircraft within 90 seconds while only using half of them. That is what the rules state. We call it the 90 second rule. So, how many emergency exits are there? Mathematics are clearly not your strong suit. With crew, this aircraft can carry almost 140 people. Let's say 30 people can escape from one exit in 90 seconds. That would be one person every three seconds. Dividing 140 by 30 therefore indicates that at least 4.6 exits would be needed. Now, twice that are required by the regulations, which means the required number of exits is nine or more. That means even you and your lack of math skills have a chance to escape, sir. 
Could you escape by opening the windows in the cockpit? The cockpit windows do not open. You aren't as smart as you look, Mr. Young. Indeed, the construction of the seat and cockpit windows is very different. While the seat windows are three layers of polycarbonate resin, the cockpit windows are five layers of reinforced glass and polycarbonate resin. Seat windows are 14 millimeters thick, but the ones in the cockpit are 45 millimeters. Passenger windows are designed to withstand external pressure, but the cockpit windows have to be able to withstand collisions with birds. <laughs> Open windows like that. Sir, please. It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah. You know quite a bit about this airplane, don't you? It's only natural. Our passenger's safety may rely on it. Natural? I'm not sure I'd use that word to describe your encyclopedic knowledge. And I'm not sure I'd use the word encyclopedic. Why, this level of knowledge. Even you could easily attain it, Mr. Young. Easily? Yes, very easily. How? Why, by taking a quiz. It's okay. Why? Quizzes are a great way to remember almost anything. You want to give it a try, don't you? Looks like I stepped on a landmine. I'll give you some simple questions. All you need to do is answer them. The beginner level only needs three correct answers to pass. Are you ready, sir? Question. What is jet fuel made from? Oh uh, that's wrong. You really think nitro-packed steel cylinders are flying overhead? Just how many flights do you think go up? That was a bleak. So this is different to, to the quiz we did. Again? You don't know what... You're the beginner. That is correct. Kerosene doesn't freeze at low temperatures and gives off no soot. That makes it extremely effective as an aircraft fuel. Okay, next question. Question. How many parachutes for passengers does a passenger aircraft carry? What? In a parachute? Case, you think regular passengers, regular people could all use a parachute? Yep. You don't know. You. That question. Oh, if the pilot bails out a look. You. The big. That is correct. That is correct. Letting an amateur loose with a parachute would do them no favors. If something should happen, don't think about jumping out. I would instead recommend adopting the brace position. Next, the last question at the beginner level. Your luck runs out here. Question, what are airplane tires filled with? But This gas needs to handle high temp... Oxygen, meanwhile, is... Please, try again. Oh, you don't... Tell me... She... Oh, please. What I have... Then you'll just need to... If you get lucky, you'll... You're... The... That is correct. 
friction with the runway causes aircraft tires to become very hot. When this happens, using nitrogen minimizes the risk of fire. It is also inert, doesn't oxidize, and contains no water, so it doesn't expand. Nitrogen is therefore the perfect choice when it comes to landing and taking off. Oh my, this is quite something. You've cleared the beginner level. Congratulations. However, that's all this was. The beginner level. Oh. Next comes the intermediate test. The less the tests we'll that we did. We'll as soon as you are ready. Actually, three honest <laughs> ones. Uh, it sounds like the quiz master isn't done cool. yet. Ready for the intermediate quiz, sir? Think you have what it takes. The intermediate level needs five correct answers to pass. Question. How can you tell at a glance if an airplane carries passengers or cargo? That is correct. A cargo plane doesn't have windows. There are no passengers to look out of them after all. Getting rid of the windows also makes the aircraft lighter. And also increases the strength of the body, like for military aircraft. Even something like a single window makes a big difference to an aircraft. Now then, question two. Question. Why is the air very dry inside an aircraft? That is correct. At high altitude, there is a large gap between inside and outside temperatures. That means moisture in the air would cause condensation to form. If that water rusted or froze, it could block pipes, causing all sorts of issues. That's why the air inside of the aircraft is kept very dry, to keep the aircraft safe. Now then, question three. Question. What do the pilot and co-pilot have prepared for them separately? That is correct. It prevents both of them suffering from food poisoning. Everyone has heard that though, haven't they? However, what about on the ground? Did you know they eat different meals before they even take off? Always think of the worst possible scenario and act accordingly. We are true professionals. Now, next question. Question. Why are the internal lights turned off when landing at night? Oh, that is correct! To get the passenger's eyes accustomed to the dark in case something happens, I might also point out that this is also one of the 90-second rules. Now we come to the final question at the intermediate level. You are doing quite well. Question. Where are airlines legally obliged to place ashtrays on board? Well done. That is correct. Of course, smoking is not allowed, but some people don't always obey the law. Failure to properly dispose of a cigarette could cause an accident. So, even though they aren't allowed to be used, lavatories must have ashtrays. What's more, these regulations were also stipulated by the Federal Aviation Administration. Hmm, well... Five questions in a row. You're smarter than I thought. What a gap. We aren't finished yet, however. The advanced level still awaits you. We'll start as soon as you are ready, sir. Beginner, intermediate, so next is advent. Not a problem. I saw this coming. Alright, I'm just gonna blast through Here this because it's ten ladies questions. And gentlemen, the advanced the However, I'm also You must Are you ready? Question. The original. Correct. 
It is a quick. Correct. Well done. This quest. My ma question. Yes, correct. The question. Okay, correct. Currently, a modified Boeing 747 is used. Question. You didn't mess it up. There are three control axes, and the question. Another correct answer. Passenger planes are fitted with devices to prevent near misses. Question. What is the largest aircraft manufacturer in America? The access games. C correct. Their headquarters is in Seattle, and they also build spacecraft. Question. What name is given to thrombosis caused by always sitting in the same position? Correct! It is also called long haul syndrome. Staying in the same uncomfortable position for a long time is bad. During a flight, you should keep moving about and massage your legs. Well, you answer them all correctly. Congratulations! Yeah, thanks. Like I said at the beginning, anyone can reach this level easily. You have proven that, Mr. Young. Oh boy. I walked right into that one. I've proven him right. We kind of pass the whole glove thing now as well. But if he has such a great memory, why doesn't he remember what happened between us before? By the way, the squeaking window. What happened to it? What squeaking window? Could they have escaped through that window? I have no idea what you're talking about. Got most of uh, most of the awards as well. Well, yeah. That lady in the middle of economy class, she's the one who got all worked up about the squeaking window, right? You mean on the west side? Yes, the west side window. She got all excited, shouting. I don't recall any such incident. Are you mocking me? I might suggest that you are mocking me, Mr. Young. We're still able to talk to the uh, lady. Oh no, no, 
I can't take it anymore. Do you think this plane is okay? First, squeak in windows, and now seats and... I'm almost impressed by your capacity to... What? They were... You're saying the wind... were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface... You also... That's right. There's you of... I've got notes on that guy with them. He's one of them object sexual. I'll... It's a term applied to individuals who... Come on, you've heard of it. It's like Dr... Love. What about? He's got it back. I don't think I've got anything to do. He's either using his work to run away from something, or work itself is his reason for living. Reason for living. It's like Dr. Johnson always says it doesn't matter what it is, just find a reason to live. I think that's everything here done. What a beautiful sunset. It won't open. Of course it won't. There's more than five tons of pressure. <laughs> what was I thinking? Well, I don't necessarily need to finish the uh, the episode, do I? fine.
Marshal. What's wrong with you? Marshal. <laughs> I'll be slapped with a match penalty. versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. Things don't come that easy. It's still been used. We're flying toward Boston now. It's been used. Go, Boston, go! <laughs> Nothing says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board. There's no one hiding in here. Where'd the courier go to? There's nothing here. <laughs> Think to try this. I must be getting tired. Never hiding here.
think. There's nothing here. Cherry blossom pad, and snow is on the back. When did that change over? There's nothing here. <sighs> when did you move to this seat? I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. There will be champagne as soon as we arrive in these. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Marshall, are you really sentimental enough to hold on to? Antonio Zapatero. So there's only one thing that we really need to do in chapter two. a story of a man with a very I'm pretty sure we have fate. Um, like missions undone for chapter two. <laughs> or episode two. We just gotta read it. Do the old stunt once, which required two playthroughs in episode one. Two more. I can do it real quick. Huh? 
Oh my god. Let's go. Come on, both. You have to step it. Ah, whatever. Teddy. I'm sure, it's just mostly just food I need to buy in this bed. Is related to real blood. <laughs> Why does he even bother with a password? Hmm? He's using. What did you eat last night? Uh, I didn't eat anything. So then why is there a dirty dish in the sink? Oh, I can't fool you, can I? I ate some donuts, all right? God help me, just some donuts. Give me that look, give me a break, will you? You know, maintaining this manly physique isn't easy. Oh. Oh, yeah, J just forget about all that, all right? <sighs> it's no good. I can't find anything. Oops. 
said. That's what I missed out on. <sighs> it's no good. <laughs> That's what I missed out on the whole time. <sighs> Definitely done all the food missions with him. Remember that for a fact. Destroy the entire house. You can help out, you know. Yes, gotcha. Now, Teddy. This is the end, Amanda. Give me the ball. David, no. I don't think so! Ugh. Teddy, this is a memento. A memento? Kitty dance. Here we are.
So it's pretty much just buying food. Which involves us getting lots of points. But I can't just buy heaps of food. I need to be low in stamina. Which just takes time. So maybe we won't complete the, uh, the food list. Hmm, so we need to go back to episode one now. We do episode one. Because we've done everything. Oh, mission wise. In episode two. <laughs> Let's see if it starts us without anything. We have to play through the whole goddamn game. David. This is a story uh, of a very strange fate. And um, if it does, I don't want to play through three games. It's like I've grown wings. Nope, no, we're in the right thing. We should be good. The lavatory. On an airplane. Another successful dive. Fuck off. Some memories called memento. It's a count. Allows me to dive into the past. Vanishing from an airplane during a flight? That's impossible. There's got to be something I'm missing. What time is it? Oh, it's three o'clock. Jeez. Are you okay? I can tell you the details, but it might take a while. I don't want your life story. Do I need to spell it out to you? Get lost. Blossoms on the back. They change them. 
but hard. Oh, yeah. God, now is it? I'd expect no less flying coach, of course. Would it have killed them to use a little real stick? Four thousand five hundred thirty nine. is business class. I cannot let you through. What if I push the point? You will find that I push back. The way into business class has quite the guard dog. Moving a guard dog requires some bait. A disturbance should work. I don't... The window noise? Okay, hot stuff. Let me ask you then. It's making sounds. What'll happen? The plane will... How can every... If she is the... Hey, will you go and check that all the other windows are... Oh, open? no, I've got to do Excuse this. Excuse me? I'd love to do it, but I've got to count the squeaks this fucking window. So I want you to go... I bet they are squeaking away in place... Oh, I... I... Okay, here's what I got. The windows creak on a set cycle. In other words... If not a single window creaks within that length of time, we are safe. <sighs> So, I need you to hurry around to a number of places and check them. If you can't check all the windows within the time, you'll prove nothing. The very safety of this plane is resting on your shoulders. Why mine? Go get to work! Ready? Set? Go, 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 go! That's a pretty good workout. Excellent. None of the other windows made a noise, right? I would have done better when I was back on the force. The safety of the windows is assured. Good. Glad to hear it. However... Oh. There's still plenty of danger lurking on this plane. 
So, can you handle a double investigation? Something's been on my mind, so I took this chance to reread some old notes. You have your old notes? Yes, of course I do. What would be the point of not having them with me at all times? Ah, here's one. One year, two months, and 11 days ago, a commercial on cable TV. So completely terrifying. My handwriting is all squiggly from trembling in fear. Apparently, as carpets age, their corners start to get folded back. I checked a carpet corner just now, and there was more than one inch of peel back. Surely, there are more of these silent assassins lurking on board. Who knows what apocalyptic shithole scenario we might be facing? I need you to go and check for them, and do it quick, smartass. Go get to work. Ready, set, move, move, move! Aha, uh -huh. yes I am. How are we doing? Good to see you. Just doing the last None of the carpets were peeled back. Uh missions really? that I missed out on. You're sure? With, uh, D4. As Dr. Johnson always says, inspections only have meaning when performed regularly. Words to live by. The possibility of her being D seems very slim at the moment, but my prejudice may be concealing the truth from me. Until I obtain concrete proof that she's not involved, I can't remove her name from the list of D candidates. Were you fighting with that? Fighting? <laughs> I... Educ... It's all... The... Do you have notes on that pair in the very back row? Just doing multiple, uh... What do they say? Playthroughs to get all the... If you... Things done. Finish the game. Just... Oh, I'm just Or as close as we're gonna get. It's like Dr. John keep next time. This really is sound what well, it sounds more you really aren't planning anything? Can some talk about this one. I'm going to be putting a watch. Anyone else on your I'd say you You've got some sick how about just what are you plan planning? Planning? Ha! What are you bl- Maybe you're hope- 
Let me ask you then. Why aren't... What if... Show me proof that there'll be time to get one out and put it on, eh? You'll see. It's like Dr. Johnson. B. So what kind of something do you think will... You... What do you think? Abduction? What? Ab I'm talking about... Crashing! It's being... He's... He... Oh... So how... Okay, what would... You... I... Oh, what? This bad boy can measure... It's... Wait... For... Do you know how dangerous... There have been... It's like... You must approach... Even if you know in... Dog requires some bait. A disturbance should work. Oh, what? Hey. <laughs> Nothing looks out of place. This door makes the window creak. I can use this to make that nervous wreck go into overdrive. This door. Yes, good. Shaking. So, this is the era of avant garde? Hmm, that's not quite right. It is. Oh, God. God. That difference is everything. You have to embrace it. Oh, um, wow. Uh, that's it. You got it! So avant-garde! <laughs> perfect. Simply perfect. You are doing well to so thoroughly delight my senses. Well, you gave it to me. Suki seems to like it too. I think... Just this once, you've earned a special present. This special avant-garde new item. Now, maybe you've achieved a sliver of understanding of art. Suki and I always welcome new collaborators. So, yeah. Get changed now. Put the whole outfit on. Thank you. 
Very happy with it. Expensive one. What can I say? She looks happier than ever.
I got what I came for. Yeah, I think so. Trend-setting compeer. I've got the perfect look now. Is this outfit avant-garde enough for you? Oh. Oh. You finally mastered avant-garde. The world of art is deep, however. You need to keep Pushing boundaries in the future. We fucking did it. I was. Do you remember the? one out of the park.
This is how you use a megaphone. She's got some more. Just for, I've just gotten the joke. Wearing the full avant garde outfit gives you no vision. You have no vision. Get it? It's pretty funny. <laughs> Actually, 
Hmm. It's like I'm not even here. Oh dear. Control will be an issue if I can't find it. Shaking feel odd to you. First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that? They were. Squeaking! The window! You're saying the windows are. were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, fall from an airplane and you'll die. So just keep your fear-mongering to yourself. There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here, then? What are you doing now? I'm rereading my old notes. Your old ones? It's your fault. You've got me all riled up. If the window really is squeaking, Ooh. I need to check if I've got any notes on what to do about it. I'm sure I had something on it. Hey, you, make yourself useful. While I'm reading, you go around and check the windows for me. Didn't I already check the windows? No complaining, no talking back. Get to work. Hey, hold on. Ready, set, hurry, hurry, hurry! Oops, 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 oops.
windows aren't squeaking, are they? Yeah. Actually, they aren't. <sighs> can make use of you. Oh. <sighs> There's more? Checking my notes. There's still some stuff I want looked at. Are you with me? Let's do it. Mm. Uh, got it. Right here. August 3rd, 2009. An article sent to a radio program. August 2009. You've got all your notes going back that far? Of course. If I didn't carry them around with me, I wouldn't be able to look at them when I need them. I suppose that makes sense. Forget that anyway. We've got bigger fish to fry. Did you know? <sighs> Metallic objects. Yes. Tend to rust if they aren't taken care of often. If someone isn't doing their job, the rust might bring this plane down. Go and check carefully now. Whoa. Hold on. Go get to work. Ready? Set? You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! There's one left. Where the fuck is it? I missed one. Are you serious? You're taking this seriously, right? I'm not playing games here. Understand? Don't let me down. Go get to work. Ready? Set? You can do it! You can do it! You can do it!
it's not in the air. I thought it'd be in here. That's annoying. I'm missing Are one, you serious? so... Your take. I'm not... Don't let me down. Ready? Set? You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! is the last one. There is one I missed. Where is it then? Seriously, right? I'm not playing games here, understand? 
Hey, can I take a break? <sighs> you s if someone. I don't care about these laws, too. Should we call it done? You I'm happy to call that done. Tons of pressure per square meter on that door. <laughs> what was I doing? Why can't I click on anything now? What's going on? Consider that done. There's literally two more fetch quests from the second quest in the game. So I'm going to call that. Well, I really enjoyed that. Uh, D4. Dreams don't die. It is a good game. I'm extremely tired. It's almost 4 a.m. I'm Jacobs. If you're new to the channel, hit that follow. Playing all kinds of stuff. I reckon tomorrow um, we'll start Final Fantasy 13 2 if I can get it running. Uh, check my schedule. I should be starting at the time it says below tomorrow. Um, if it all goes to plan, I can get 13 2 all up and running, hopefully. But I'm going to go to bed now. Take it easy, everybody. Come hang out. Uh, send me a bit of money if you like donating. If you got it, that's also okay. You can subscribe for cool emotes, um, badges, and stuff like that. You can also come um, through this cool Discord. Uh, soon, there's a new episode of Gaming Cult Podcast coming. I'm working on it as we speak. And, uh, yeah, shouts out. Everybody that's been watching today, all the viewers. Much love. We'll go and another normal cookie with you. Shouts out to Sean Chatfield from Legacy Support and Super Patrons from the, the D4 Dark Thrones Dark skit. Go check that out on Legacy Support. It's really cool. I love this game. It was great. I, I, what a cliffhanger there, right? Again, maybe we'll never get another chapter again. Who knows? Shouts out to Spray65 and Access Games. Though. Goodbye. Thank you.